Hi everyone, welcome to Road to Cat 99, right? So this video is for the beginners who are just preparing or who have started just preparing for the cat or who are about to start, right? So they are basically, right? So cat 2024, right? थोड़ा सा पहले बेसिक चीजें डिस्कस करते हैं क्या 2024 के बारे में राइट थ्री सेक्शन होते हैं वीआरसी डीआईएलआर एंड क्यूए यू विल हैव 24 क्वेश्चंस हियर 20 क्वेश्चंस हियर एंड 22 क्वेश्चंस हियर टाइम लिमिट ऑफ 40 मिनट ईच इन द ईच सेक्शन राइट 40 मिनट्स एग्जैक्ट 40 मिनट्स इन ईच सेक्शन सो टोटल 2 आवर्स का पेपर होता है एंड दिस इज मोटा मोटा your structure for the paper plus three minus one is a marking scheme and I think that's what I'm going to are entering the MBA word or if you are preparing or if you are started preparing for the cat right now there can be two type of people one who are the repeaters and the other type of people are just beginners or who are sort of new to the cat preparation so they might decide to go with the self preparation right or they might go with the coaching, right? Dekho, we will talk about the general janta, right? Even if you are a repeater, even if you are a beginner, even if you are preparing yourself or even if you have enrolled with some coaching, even if you have enrolled with some coaching, what I believe is that you should have idea about how the things will go in the upcoming months and you start preparing or you start at least having some road map in your mind that मैं इस टाइम पे ये complete करूँगा इस टाइम पे ये complete करूँगा right तो थोड़ा सा मैं आपको brief overview देता हूँ then we will discuss month wise strategy right uh, for example first we will discuss what is VRC right so I have scored 99 percentile 99.46 is my best percentile in the VRC in the CAT 2022. So a little brief about myself. So my name is Pallav Goel. I'm currently a student at IIM Ahmedabad. I have scored uh, in CAT 22 99.98. I appeared for this year CAT. I scored 99.95 and uh, two times in the Z, I scored 99.90 plus uh, overall, right? Uh, with sectional clears in all the examinations, and I have converted all the blacky calls MDA, Excellent, Jamshedpur, FMS, right? So uh, I have a great knowledge when it comes to the VRC, DLR, quant. So VRC, me, the basically you will get four passages: reading comprehension, right? And then there will be verbal questions. So here you will have 16 questions and here you will have 8 questions. Verbal may there will be 2-2 two, two questions from each old man out, right? From para completion, para jumble and all those things, right? And summary based questions. Uh, the level of this section, right? Or a lot of people face difficulty in the VRC due to the inconsistent inconsistency in the mock scores, right? In the mock scores, in the sectional scores. Right. So basically four passages make out you will have uh, four options for each of the question and a passage may be up to pass char questions. Hote hai. Right. A passage make out that a kuch log aise honge jinki English is strong. Nahi hai. Right. Yeah. Jitta jinka comprehension skills strong. Nahi hai, ya jinka vocab strong. Nahi hai. So uh, according to me in the VRC, you don't need a very good English. Yeah both strong vocab but aapko bahut acha comprehension skill aana chahiye for example jo bhi aap passage padhoge right to isko padh ke aapko samajh aana chahiye ki ye mota mota kya kya raha hai har ek line samajhna zaruri nahi hai hai na har ek cheez samajhna zaruri nahi but mota mota uski theme kya hai uska idea kya hai uska structure kya hai wo cheez samajh aani chahiye aur fir there is an art of question solving Art of question solving. Both but choke English both strong with the FBV marks niate, RC me marks niate because they don't know art of question solving. So for example, A, B, C, D are four options. You need to eliminate one by one all those options, and whatever left or whatever seems best out of these four options should be the correct choice. Both look both the extra inference nikal napata interpretation karna parta. I would say extra inference koin in karna parta. All the information that is given in the passage will be used to answer the questions. So, उस तरीके से extra कुछ तुम्हें काम नहीं करना पड़ेगा, but yes, this section needs a lot of practice. 
सेम गोज विद दी ए वी ए सम रिलेटेड टू द आर सी बिकॉज जब आपको कॉम्प्रीहेंशन समझ आने लग गया तो आप सेंटेंस का पैराजम्पल कर पाओगे सेंटेंस का ओडमैन आउट कर पाओगे समरीज uh, कर पाओगे है ना ये सब चीजें आप कर पाओगे तो वी ए इज क्लोजली लिंक विद द आर सी ठीक है तो मोटा मोटा यही आइडिया कि इस सेक्शन में अगर आपको मार्क्स लाने हैं तो यू नीड टू स्ट्रॉन्ग योर कॉम्प्रीहेंशन स्किल्स एंड यू नीड टू स्ट्रॉन्ग योर आर्ट ऑफ सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन ये दो चीजें आपको स्ट्रॉन्ग करनी पड़ेगी है ना और इसको स्ट्रॉन्ग करने के लिए मॉक सीरीज इज द ओनली वे टू गो अहेड है ना इट इज गुड टू रीड द न्यूज आर्टिकल्स एंड एवरीथिंग बट प्रैक्टिसिंग इन द रियल टाइम सिनेरियो प्रैक्टिसिंग विद द रियल टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वुड बी द बेस्ट वे टू गो फॉर दिस सेक्शन राइट नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डी आई एल आर डी आई एल आर में बेसिकली यू विल हैव फोर सेट्स दिस इज द लेटेस्ट ट्रेंड फोर सेट्स विद फाइव क्वेश्चन ईच अर्लियर देर वॉज फाइव सेट्स विद फोर क्वेश्चन ईच इन द टू आवर सिनेरियो ओनली राइट सो वेन इट कम्स टू द फोर सेट्स विद फाइव क्वेश्चन ईच राइट सो बेसिकली डी आई एल आर इज वन ऑफ द सेक्शन वेयर देर इज ए हाई चांस दैट यू माइट नॉट बी एबल टू क्लियर द कट ऑफ इवन विद ए कंप्लीट ईजी पेपर द रीजन बींग की uh, इसमें आपका सिक्वेंस बहुत मैटर करता है राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर फोर सेट्स सेट नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर राइट पहली बात तो ये जम्बल डप होंगे हर के एग्जाम में तो स्टार्ट करने से पहले फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपने वन से स्टार्ट कर लिया इंस्टेड ऑफ स्टार्टिंग विद द फोर और थ्री ठीक है तो आपका इतना भी इफेक्ट आ सकता है कि सिर्फ इतनी सी मिस्टेक से आप अपना डीएलआर का कट ऑफ क्लियर ना कर पाओ एंड इट हैपन्स एवरी ईयर विद लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स दैट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट एबल टू क्लियर द कट ऑफ वेन इट कम्स टू द डी एल आर राइट इसमें प्रैक्टिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अलोंग विद द प्रैक्टिस आई वुड से अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द सेट राइट लॉजिक्स डेरिवेशन ऑफ लॉजिक्स राइट और इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ एडिशनल थिंग्स वुड बी द फर्स्ट थिंग देन इट वुड बी द टाइम मैनेजमेंट स्किल टाइम मैनेजमेंट स्किल देन यू नीड टू बी काम इन द एंटायर डी एल आर सेक्शन देन सीक्वेंस ऑल्सो मैटर्स अ लॉट राइट सीक्वेंस ऑल्सो मैटर्स अ लॉट एंड देर आर कपल ऑफ अदर फैक्टर्स दैट कंप्लीटली डिपेंड्स ऑन हु यू आर और हाउ यू रिएक्ट टू द सिचुएशन राइट for starting the preparation uh, with the dl you basically starts with the some basic level info regarding the set theory arrangement pie chart and all those things right and slowly and slowly you start solving basic sets then move to the advanced sets then move to the cat level sets uh one suggestion from my side would be uh to start with these things obviously but along with that start testing yourself with the real cat sets also right and you need to be very good at time management and choosing the sequence so first 3 or 4 minutes should be invested for just reading all the four sets and based on your experience based on everything you should be deciding which set to choose first and which set to choose second right now comes with the quant quant is generally doable when it comes to the cat but uh, the recent quant that is in the cat 2023 it was way uh, difficult than expected uh, i don't think that this pattern will repeat next year also but uh, given the difficulty level if you see the marks versus percentile it was very very low if you could have scored just eight correct questions you could have scored 99 percentile in the quant in this cat in the cat 2023 right so that is again uh, talks that can be done on a at a later stage but uh, as of now i would say uh, there is a vast syllabus when it comes to the quant and you need to be very good at learning the formulas and understanding the concepts and so when it comes to the quant again understanding covering the syllabus ठीक है लर्निंग द फॉर्मूलास लर्निंग फॉर्मूलास सोल्विंग क्वेश्चन प्लस एक्यूरेसी प्लस स्पीड ऑल दीज थिंग्स मैटर अ लॉट इन द क्वांट सेक्शन एंड क्वांट इज वन ऑफ द सेक्शन वेर यू कैन इंक्रीज योर स्कोर सिग्निफिकेंटली राइट सो यू शुड 
take this section very seriously. I would suggest take every section very seriously when it comes to the preparation. But in the quant, you will have around like uh, 15, 20 different chapters, right? Or different topics. And there will be a lot of subtopics. For example, when it comes to the number system, you will have a lot of formulas. You will have a lot of concepts when it comes to the time and speed questions. You might not have a lot of concepts, but you will have a different variety of questions, right? So you need to be very good at understanding the syllabus covering the whole syllabus learning each and every formula remember those formulas then test yourself by solving the questions get on to the accuracy get on to the speed all these things matter a lot and uh, needless to say if you excel all these things your score your overall score will improve significantly because vrc is one section where a lot of uncertainty is involved when it comes to the correct answer choice same goes with the dila but uh, not with the DLR, but D in DLR, a lot of candidates face difficulty uh, in scoring maximum marks, right? But quant is one of the sections where if you have hold of all these things, right, your score can improve significantly, right? So now let's start with the preparation phase, right? Uh, regarding the sources of preparation, I might discuss it in the next video, right? Uh, you need to comment down the topics on which you want next video but uh, for we will uh, as of now we will discuss the month wise plan right so we are in the gen right as far as the gen and feb month is concerned right then you have march to may then you have june to august then you have september then you have October and then you have November, right? Uh, so guys, these months are very important. Post these months, a lot of things might not be important for you because your base, yeah, yeah, your strengths will develop or enhance in these months only. And based on these months, you will appear for your NMAT, SNAP, uh, CAT, ZAT, interviews and everything, right? So let's discuss. So if you're just starting the preparation, I hope you have started or even if you have not started, I believe Jan month is the right time to start the preparation, right? So we will discuss what to do in the Jan, right? Uh, what to do in the March to May, what to do in the June to August, what to do in the September, then October and then November, right? <clears throat> when it comes to the January to February, Right. Uh, so I assume that you have already made the plan to appear for the CAT and you are not indulged in some XYZ talks. In the Jan to February, uh, if you're looking for the coaching, right, you can take demo of the different coachings, right? Talk with people, see how that coaching is or uh, what is their pedagogy and everything, or how, how is their material, right? And in the January to February, I would start start with some basic stuff. When What do I mean by basic is start with arithmetic. This is one of the topics which you can prepare on your own also. Right. On your own. Or if you want some help, you can refer to YouTube videos. This, this topic is the topic which you have already covered in your... Uh, uh, high school classes like 10th or 11th or 8th or 9th, right? Get done with this in the month of Jan and Feb. Not maybe not entire arithmetic, but start with let's say percentage, then profit and loss, then uh, time and work. Start with your own, right? And start practicing questions from XYZ sources, right? And same goes with the VRC. Just start with understanding what exactly is there in the VRC, what type of questions are asked. Get yourself accustomed to uh, reading a lot of passages. Get accustomed to yourself uh, to think more about the structure of the passages and everything. Uh, then when it comes to the um, DILR, start with the basic stuff. Or maybe you can start with picking up some of the past year CAT sets and just have a look that uh, how you feel after looking at those, uh, th those type of sets or those type of problems or you you may start solving them because these are very simple sets. Anyone can understand just after reading the set. Uh, and then you need to additionally draw some inferences about that and show them, right? 
when it comes to the march to may these three months are very important these three months are very important when it comes to the uh, quant and dlr because a lot of stuff in the quant will be covered in the march march to may and i would say that uh, uh, your 30% 40% slabers will be covered from the quant uh, in the march to may maybe 50% also depends on your co uh, coaching and depends on your speed but march april may will be the only months where you will be free uh, where you will not have any pressure when it comes to the cat preparation the only job for you is to cover the quant slabers and cover the dlr slabers so for the dlr i would say cover the slabers in uh, right including the january and february and march your by march cover the basic slippers of the dlr then start solving different different types of sets in the april and may when it comes to the quant i would say along uh, maybe follow your coaching but if your coaching is going too slow this is one of the biggest problems when it comes to the coaching classes they might go very slow in some topics so if they are going very slow at some point of time right you can start preparing for other topics along with your classes that will be your best time to get equipped with the new formulas, new stuff and everything, right? And what I would say that a lot of material is also available on the YouTube. So you need not uh, rely entirely on your coaching uh, material and everything. And uh, picking the best material is again a very crucial choice here, right? So uh, you need to be very cautious when solving the questions, whether you are... Uh, solving the right set of questions because a lot of coaching materials printed irrelevant questions that uh, that are not relevant uh, not relevant uh, in the current period right so don't go for that uh, okay when it comes to the quant i would say tell me uh please 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 practice a lot of stuff for example if you are done with the percentage please practice percentage from the previous year book please practice percentage from your coaching material master your topic right whatever will be covered till may please master that by the may only right don't delay the stuff right especially in the quants because again you have to cope up those labors in the upcoming months so better to cover the cover the old slabers that is covered till may early right so this will be the only thing and as far as the vrc is concerned i will uh, uh i hope that you will get a idea about what exactly vrc is by the end of may and also you have started preparing or you have started practicing a lot of questions in the vrc so uh, what i would say ki till may you should have analyzed yourself properly what do i mean by this is that by the may you should be able to know whether you are good at vrc whether you are good at dlr or whether you got good at quants and you should be able to list down your strength and your weakness related to the vrc dlr and qa what exactly is your strength what exactly is your weakness when it comes to the vrc dlr and the qa if you get to know about the vrc dlr qa about your strengths about your weakness you will have a clear plan for january september october and november exactly what you want to do where you want to work harder where you want to work a little bit lesser why i'm saying these months are important because post may your uh mocks will start right you will have two mocks three mocks every week or maybe uh in a fortnight you have to appear for two mocks then you have to analyze those mocks and then you have to cover whatever you found missing in those mocks right so a lot of stuff would be there to cover for example in the june to august right your complete focus should be on mocks and on slabers completion right and whatever you have already prepared but you feel under prepared you will be tested uh, on those topics in the mocks and if you feel that you are under prepared in some xyz topic then go back and revise that topics practice more and more questions for that topic right by the august your 70 percent or 80 percent slabers should be covered at any cost maybe some coaching might delay the slabers then again it depends on the coaching's plan they might have a different plan but generally your 70 percent slabers should be covered by the august month and your whole focus should be on the mocks mocks and mocks right and again september uh, september month should be for mocks overview what do i mean by this is that you should be able to analyze your performance in the mocks right in which section you are 
scoring well and in which section you are not scoring well and in which section you are facing a lot of difficulty consult with some mentor consult with your coaching people consult with yourself only like what should you do or what change you should bring to overcome these difficulties or how you can strengthen some xyz topic right start working then and there only because then again october month and november month will be completely of mocks and this is for revision right so basic agenda would be let me just highlight some basic stuff gen fab should be uh setting out the targets covering the basic stuff of uh, arithmetic covering the basic stuff for VA and covering the basic stuff for the DLR, right? Basic stuff, what do I mean by that? You need not have mentor or have coaches for every small thing, right? Arithmetic, some topics of arithmetic, some topics of VA, some topics of DLR can be self-prepared, can be covered by yourself. If you have enrolled in coaching, that's a different thing. But if you are just thinking to enroll in the coaching or self-preparation, this should be your basic plan for the Jan and Feb. From the Mars to May, right? You should be your focus should be on the QA, DLR, and the VRC to cover a lot of stuff from all those topics. From the, uh, for example, from the QA by the end of May, you should have covered 30 40 percent of the syllabus. Same goes with the DLR. Start testing yourself on the difficult sets in the DLR. And you should be able to buy after five months, right? These are the five months. After five months, you will get to know your strength and weakness in VRC, DLR and the quant, right? From the June, uh, June, July, August, this will be the three month time period. In this, you should appear for a lot of mocks. You should focus on syllabus completion and you should focus on revising the stuff. Don't forget what you have learned in this five months, right? When it comes to the September, Analyze your performance in the mocks. Develop a plan to overcome the difficulties that you have faced during the mocks or maybe found some uh, gap of preparation, right? Where you need a lot of focus and you are not giving the focus currently. When it comes to the October and November, right? In October, again, it will be complete mock season, right? There will be a lot of mocks in the October and November would be fully based on the revision and mindset basically you preparing yourself for the cat game because cat game is uh so sensitive in one way that you just have 40 minutes for each section and if, if you waste 10 or 12 minutes that is very common thing you already wasted 25 percent of the section right so you need to be very clear with all those stuff right given or uh, Having said this, right, I would again suggest that a lot of students or the students who have prepared very well in the CAT or scored very well in the CAT always know how to come back even after wasting 10, 12 or 15 minutes. So all these things, I would say, uh, don't focus too much on YouTube stuff when it comes to the strategy, when it comes to how to prepare, how to score 100 percentile or something, because there are thousands of video and those videos are great when it comes to listening, but they are not great when it comes to actual score or scoring the mock. If you are choosing right set of mentor, if you are choosing right set of YouTuber, please see his or her history, what he or she is currently doing in the arena of the care preparation, what he she scored in the recent attempts, and then take, uh, I would say then take uh, someone's advice based on that, right? So focus on all these aspects, right? This video is basically to provide you the true picture, how your preparation phase would look like over the next one year. I would say best of luck for the CAT 2024. This is the first video as far as the CAT 2024 is concerned. I hope you have liked the video, right? Uh, if you have any other ideas or if you want something out of me, please put the comments and I will try to provide that also. Thank you and have a very happy day.